The Runaway Theater was very important to us. They had a Saturday matinee for the kids. So for, a, I think it was a dime, maybe it was a, a nickel when we started, that you go to the Sunday, Saturday matinee, and it was so popular, it would, would line right around the block waiting to get in. And uh, the, the, there was a doorman who was dressed in a scarlet jacket with gold braid and a, and a hat, and he was a handsome, gray-haired gentleman. And then in the ticket booth was a, a gray-haired woman with her curls on top of her head, highly made up. We sort of wondered if they were married, because they looked like they should be, but that's, they were in stables there. Then on the Saturday matinee, <laughs> <laughs> the kids were so raucous, they had a matron walk up and down the aisle in a white coat trying to keep order. <laughs> now, my husband's family sent him every Saturday to get rid of him, I guess. <laughs> but my mother would only let me go to Shirley Temple movies, because that was all she would allow me to go to. But anyway, I don't know whether you know it, but the Runnymede Theater had a projection in the ceiling that it looked up when you looked up, airplanes were crossing the ceiling. It was one of the very few places that had that. It was miraculous. Just a wonderful place. But anyway, that was, that was the run of me, and, and that was a very important place. That's where we went for dates, too, when we were teenagers, you know. There was a beaver theater up in, in the junction, but we went to the run of me more than that. Anyway, that, it was a wonderful spot. These are beautiful items. What they are is what were given out by the Runaway Theater during the Depression and certain, I don't know whether certain days or certain evenings, if you went to the theater, you got a prize. These are very lovely things and I still use them, have them in my home after all those years. <laughs>